Welcome back. As promised, another video, this time on the Advanced Jumbo. This is the historic 1936 version. I am David. Welcome to Acoustic Music and Things. And let's hear it. <laughs> Yeah, amazing guitar. Um, they're not always in Gibson's catalog, and I think that's a little bit of a shame. Um, essentially, you know, uh, this one's actually an aged Adirondack or red spruce top. Uh, rosewood back and sides, mahogany neck. The awesome, like, I think they call a split arrowhead inlays. Uh, very cool, very, I mean, this is what they were doing, you know, in the 30s when they introduced this guitar. Um, this version has a very thin, you can kind of hear that, very thin nitro finish that almost gives it like a pre-aged feel-ish. Uh, the other thing that's very different about this guitar that from the other Gibsons that I have is the neck profile is what they're calling a 1936 historic i don't know but the thing's a baseball bat it is pretty thick on this front uh still very comfortable very easy to play it's just not something that most acoustic guitar players are going to be used to unless you're playing a lot of those vintage guitars and you know vintage inspired guitars like the waterloos um couple others have those big thick necks like uh the gretsch uh resonators they have a big big old fat round neck um or a v-shaped very you know indicative of that time definitely not the slim taper fast playing necks that i think we've kind of gotten used to um another great thing about this is it's got why they call it the advanced jumbo is because it has advanced forward shifted bracing. Um, the nut width is the same as most all standard Gibsons at 1.72 inches. So again, very comfortable to play kind of in that in-between area between, you know, that inch and 11 sixteenths and the inch and three quarters. Um, Just the tone of this guitar is totally different than the standard tone from a lot of Gibsons that you might be more familiar with. Um, definitely different from the J45 Deluxe, which again is, you know, spruce with rosewood. And here in a little bit, I'll actually try and do some AB and bounce back and forth between those guitars. But... just want to try and give the most accurate sound of this guitar so the people like myself I live in an area that there is no way one of these guitars would show up in person in a probably three hour radius drive from where I live to go play one of these and I know that's the case for a lot of places so again I feel like I'm constantly repeating myself, but I'm recording this stuff in what I would consider a pretty attainable, easy way. Um, the Zoom Q8N uh, recorder, it's a awesome little camcorder. It will record in 4K. It also acts as a digital interface, so I have my SM7B vocal mic plugged directly into it and the Warm Audio 47 JR going into the Art 2 preamp. And again, that's running right into the camera itself. So very minimal effort to be able to set this up, but it's also stuff that 
most musicians can go out and pick up this condenser microphone, pick up the tube preamp, and they're not all that expensive, which is kind of a trade-off. I do have a little bit higher end microphones that I could be using, but I really wanted to get it to use something that somebody might already have already or easily attainable to get. That's the better, better way to say it. Now, I will be doing a series where I'm going to record a bunch of stuff just through the Telefunken 2 mic. Um, and with that, I'll probably run it into a DAW and do some, you know, compressing and do all of the post-processing stuff. But with this kind of intro series, I guess, that I'm doing, I'm trying to avoid all that. So the only thing I'll be doing is just taking snippets out of the video just to try and shorten it up and eliminate any unnecessary noise, so to speak. Anyway, I'm gonna play this one a little bit for you, then I'll start grabbing the other guitar and I'll bounce back and forth. crazy sound that can come out of this body shape that it's almost in that like blue grassy super forward tone like uh, Martin D28 um, it can just handle so much sonically it's just a great great guitar all around I know I say that a lot but I also really like nice guitars so I'm probably gonna say that about most of my guitars that I have It does take a little getting used to this this big neck, but nothing wrong with that at all. All right, here is some side by sides with a J45 Deluxe.
There you have it. I hope that gave you a good representation of this guitar, what it can sound like, what it can do. Um, these are fairly fresh um, pyramid country western 13s on this guitar. Um, look for them, they're, they're really good string. So again, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe. Anyway, Thank you again for watching. Have a good night.